Next, we have Kirti Raj. Uh, he says that he is planning to buy a 2 BHK flat in Bhusari Colony in Khotrud, Pune. Now, the developer is quoting 82 lakh rupees for 1,070 square feet 2 BHK flat. Now, the position is expected in December 2016. He wants to know whether this is the right price to buy in to this project. What would you say? Go through Pune? Yes, Ka Kavita, in the Bhusari colony itself, we've got a very uh, a number of projects there. And I find that uh, a 2 BHK of 880 to about 1080, that's the uh, range of sizes you have, is between 74 lakh and 1.1 crore. Now, he's uh, talking about a thousand and something square feet. And here you will see that um, uh, he's well within the range. And it, it, is, it is in the locality range and not the highest part of it. So I think you are in the, uh, um, in the uh, correct range. You are in the correct range, Kirti. You can go ahead and buy that particular property. Uh, but before we move on, Jeshri, uh, one question for, to you uh, on behalf of all the viewers of the show. How do you know that the price that you're buying into, uh, you know, a particular property, the price that is being quoted, is probably a, is a fair price or uh, whether you're being ripped off? How, how, how do you uh, essentially measure that? Kavita, I'll tell you what I do when somebody asks me this question. The first thing I do is go to Magic Bricks and put that locality and put the uh, the type of pro uh, property that I'm looking for. So, so he's asking for a 2 BHK, for instance. I would look for Bhusari Colony, Kothrud, and I would look for 2 BHK. A large number of properties come up and uh, it, the prices are listed. Those are asking values. There can be a little bit of negotiation on the uh, asking values. Now, if, if you uh, look at all the properties, you will be able to see what is the price price range that is being quoted for these properties. If it is very low, you have to put a question mark and figure out why you are being given some property at such a low rate. Normally, there is some prop problem with that property. If it is very high, maybe the developer has uh, bundled many other uh, extra features onto it, which is why it's very high. And if you're uh, satisfied with what is coming to you, you can go ahead. But if uh, you know that, the uh, you know, it is in the average range of amenities, and we also give you a list of amenities that come with every project. If it is in the average list of amenities, but you're paying a little more than what the rest of the locality averages, that is when your antenna should go up and you should ask the developer why he's charging you a higher range. The uh, locality, the prices depend on two or three things. One is the, uh, some developers command a premium over the locality pricing. And if you're going with a premium developer, for instance, DLF, ATF, ATS, Hira Nandani, these are developers who command a premium because because of the fact that they are the leaders in the ma market. Uh, the second thing is that if there are amenities and significantly different amenities that are being packaged, those also come at a premium. Uh, the third thing could be the locality advantage. It may be very close to the uh, metro station, uh, railway um, station, things, uh, things that are in demand in that city and that could uh, raise the prices. The uh, fourth could be, it could be very close to a commercial destination. The closer you are, not quite on the commercial destination, but close enough uh, good access to a commercial destination that also bumps up the prices. Uh, Jayashree, very quickly, you said uh, that you know you need to know whether you're being offered a very high price over the average or a very low price. Now, if you take the average as say 100, what is a very high price and what is a very low price? See, normally it's not a hundred, Kavita. It would be 70 to 100, which would be the locality average. It always works in ranges because property, there's no absolute value of property. So, uh, uh, like I said, if you check what is the uh, locality average, the, check the range. And if you're very much below the range, if the uh, locality average starts at, say, 74, and you know that you've been offered something at 65, your antennae should go up. Why would somebody offer you a, a, a property that is well below the locality average? On on the other hand, if the locality average is say uh, up to 100 and somebody offers you something at 120, you know that there is a problem there because normally what happens is there are some, th some reasons why uh, you are above the locality average, which could be some developers command a premium because they are, uh, they are the market leaders. This could be a DLF, a Shobha, a Prestige, a uh, Hira Nandani. These are the ones who are ma market leaders and therefore their prices go up. Uh, the second thing could be that the location is very close to the commercial center or it's very well located near a, a, a transport 
transport link like the metro or the railway station that also pushes up prices the third thing is that if you if you the project is uh, there are lots of amenities uh, and facilities bundled into the project that it takes up the property value and that is another reason why it could be higher now uh, the, it becomes higher because of extras, but you can't strip away anything, everything and uh, bring the price down. So that's when your antenna should go up. Right. That's Property Market 101 for you. You can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.